Hi, welcome back to houseimprovements.com. I'm Shannon, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can replace uh, a damaged vinyl outside corner. You can see this one's got some damage down below here, very common. Uh, it's also got some uh, stains up here, and it's starting to look pretty ratty. So I've found a way that uh, you can change that corner without actually remove, having to remove the siding. For those of you who don't know what this corner looks like before you put it on the wall, this is a piece of outside corner here. Now they come 10 feet long, but uh, this is the shape that you're gonna see. It's right there. So this is where your two walls are. Okay, and the reason it's built like that is so that you can put it against the corner of the building, put your nails in it to fasten it, and then your siding gets cut and covers all the nails. So to actually remove this whole corner in one piece would honestly mean removing all the siding away from both corners to get at these nails to pull the nails and pull the corner off and uh, that's a lot of work and probably not worth it. But there is a way to basically leave this nailed part in place and use it to hook the, the new outer cover onto. And I've got a couple samples here kind of showing that. So, so this would be the corner piece that's on the wall, just as you see below my hand, right? That's, that's what you see here. So if it was damaged, what we want to do is cut it in a way that it leaves these, really what it is is a J channel pretty much hidden in behind there. Because we need that to hook the replacement piece onto. I don't know if you can kind of see in there how this piece will hook into these J's. So to do that, first of all, what we have to do is on the piece that's on your home, you need to be able to cut right in here. I'm going to use my knife to show you. You need to be able to cut on both sides right, right here so that you're removing right from this, this corner here, you're removing all of that. So you'd be left with basically that on the wall. Okay. So to do that, what I've found is kind of the easiest is to first just remove the bulk of what's out here on the face so that you can make a nice easy cut back inside of, of this groove here, right in here. As opposed to trying to follow, if this is our corner out here, trying to follow along here, your knife kind of wants to wander all over the place. But if I can remove this outer edge and get my knife right in here, it follows that channel a lot easier. Okay, so that's one of the steps you're gonna do. We're gonna cut a good chunk of the surface face off so that we can access to cut this last little piece off on each side, which will leave us just these J channels hooked on the wall on either side. Okay, so that's, that's for on the, on the uh, wall. Then what we need to do, like here's our, this is my replacement corner. They come uh, 10 feet long generally. So what you need to do is cut it to length and cut any uh, like in this case, you can see how it's fit around the soffit. I've already cut the new one to fit that. Okay, so you've got your new piece. And for the new piece, we're cutting... Uh, for the new piece, we've got to actually cut right in here. The blades here. The old piece on the wall, you're cutting up in here. Okay, so on the new piece, we're basically cutting that J-channel, or most of it off so that your piece will look like that. Okay, now that, hopefully that's as clear as mud. Um, you'll see better once we actually get into cutting and removing it all off. And like I said before, the, the reason for that is we want to be able to take our new piece, it'll hook onto that piece of J that's left, and the, then if you squeeze and around on the other side, it'll re-hook into the other one. It's not as sturdy, as a replacement as it is the new piece in one like a original piece in one one chunk but it still still works good and it's a lot easier than taking all your siding off so let's get rid of that and uh, and I'll show here exactly what I'm gonna do 
So I'll, I'll do the lower down stuff and we'll do the other off camera, but basically you want a sharp utility knife and you need to be very careful. And I'm gonna about, to oh, say an inch away from each one of these corners here, I'm gonna cut this vinyl straight down. And you can do it in one or two passes. The warmer the vinyl, the warmer the day, the better. It'll cut easier. Okay, so I've already got cut through that one. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna use some snips just to get that out of the way so I can show you on this lower area. Okay, so that's garbage. Now, now you can see, hopefully, that it's exposed this inner lip where I wanna stick my blade way back in there and, and cut out on this edge here. So again, I'm not trying to cut right through the first cut. I'm just trying to uh, basically sc score it. And you want to be careful if you're pushing too hard and your blade comes through, you might scratch your siding here. So just be leery of that. Usually if you make two or three passes, it's going to start to break its way through. Okay, and this is what we're trying to get is be left with that piece down there like that and obviously you're going to do this right from top to bottom so I think you get the idea of what I'm doing there uh, now what I want to do on this long one is I think we'll actually we'll move to a different position so you can see better what I'm doing okay so I just brought the corner in to work on a surface where it was easier to to work for one thing and also you don't want to be working on something that's going to scuff this uh, corner up so you want something that it, if it slides it isn't going to hurt anything so what I'm doing is cutting right right down in this corner if I had a I'll just put a pencil line there because this white on white is probably hard to see so I'm cutting right down right in there is where I want to cut and same idea, don't try to make that cut all in one, one motion. Just run your blade in there, kind of score it. And after the second or third pass, it'll start to cut right through and you'll be good. Oh. Part of the problem is staying straight on that little corner there. Depending on your siding, you might be able to score it a couple times and actually bend it back and forth and snap it off. Let's just try that. Yeah, so you can see once I've got it scored, basically I can break that whole edge off. And we want to do that on both sides so we're just left with this piece here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this all up and then we'll come back and show you how the two pieces fit together again. Okay, so we've got our two pieces cut now. You can see the entire length here is uh, cut so that we just have this little lip on here and as well as on the on the wall itself we've got both sides cut so we just have that J channel part left back there so now I've got to go up the ladder I'm I don't think it probably matters if you start at the top or bottom but I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna go up and first I've got to get this side here the whole thing hooked in here and then I can stretch the corner out of shape and get it hooked around on this, this whole side. Uh, something that does help now and again is if you have a, either a red bar or even this uh, siding removing tool. Uh, sometimes it's handy to get in here on the second side to get a hold of this back lip to help stretch it around to get it hooked onto there. So I'm just gonna kind of have that in my pocket in case I need it. Um, 
yeah, I think that's it. So we'll get the camera at the right angle and we'll try to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I've got my, uh, my replacement piece here. And like I said, I'm gonna get it started on this uh, one J channel there first. And I wanna get it started on the whole thing all the way down. Usually that one's nice and easy, so I've got it all in there now. My fit looks okay on my upper cut there to meet the soffit, so I'm happy with the, that side. Now we'll come around to this side and have a look at what I do here to snap it in. Okay, so we started that far side like you just seen, and I'm just gonna take my little removal tool and I'll stick it back in here on the back edge of this new one. And if you just kind of manipulate this new corner and get it started. Come on. Once, it's, once it starts, it feels pretty good. Just a matter of getting it hooked back in there. There, we got the upper part started clip back in you can you can feel back in there if you're in the right spot like right here I'm not now but we got the upper part in there where was I Just work your way all the way down. There. I'm just gonna stick my head in the way to have a look up there. Yep, it's all the way in there. So now you can see it. Uh, most people are never gonna know you changed it other than it doesn't have a hole in it anymore. Okay, so you can see that really was quite easy. Uh, once, once you've seen me do it now and once you do one, uh, if you have any more to do after that, they'll really be quick and easy. Uh, in reality, in real time, I don't know if this might take me maybe 15 minutes once I'm all set up. Uh, so even if it takes you half an hour, it's still going to be way quicker than removing the siding just to change that corner out. And it's good and solid. That isn't coming off in the wind or anything like that. And uh, the best thing is it's already ready. If the kid's banging up again, you're halfway to the point of being able to change it even quicker. Uh, so this will go along with all our other vinyl siding videos that you can find on our channel. If, if this wasn't exactly what you were looking for, check out our other videos. Uh, we might cover the topic you wanted. Uh, as far as this video goes, click the thumbs up button for us if, uh, if you liked what you've seen. And uh, you can uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to our channel. Uh, if you want to maybe do a little extra in helping us make more of these great videos, you could uh, check out our Patreon link and possibly support us there. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook and uh, just overall check out our channel and let us know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching.